Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Hot Skillet. I'm Chef Christian Fair, and today I'm gonna turn this beautiful dish of fresh seafood into something magical. We are doing Spanish seafood paella with a little Negra Modelo. You do not wanna miss this, stay tuned. Alright, Spanish seafood paella, let's get right into this. The faster we do this, the faster I get to eat it. Alright, so let's go over the list of ingredients. First we have some beautiful sea scallops, then we have some nice fresh swordfish. Alright, over here we have some tiger shrimp, and you'll notice that I have the shell on these. Okay, and this is because the shell actually packs a lot of flavor. Okay, so if you leave the shell on and we fry it a little bit in that olive oil, it's gonna actually bring out that much more shrimp flavor. And this dish is all about just packing those flavors together. All right, now over here, this is very important, chorizo sausage. In fact, can we, can we turn off the music? This is just really important here. I just wanna make sure that I get this across. Can, can we turn off the music, please? Do not under any circumstances, attempt to do this paella without chorizo sausage. Listen up, people, because I'm only gonna say this once. Stop what you're doing, get in your car, go to the store, and get some chorizo sausage. All right, turn the music back on. Now over here we have some fresh geoduck clams and we have some middle neck clams and I'm going to show you something interesting about I don't know if we can see this here all right let's see if the guy's a little shy now can you see that little see that little geoduck clam right here see how it's got that little appendage that it sticks out so do you guys want to know how to tell the difference between a male clam and a female clam guys I'm just kidding I'm just kidding hello Anyone? Is this thing on? Now the rice for this recipe is very important. If you've ever made risotto before, then you know that you use arborio rice. Now for paella, we use the Spanish version of arborio, which is a short-grained, starchy rice. It's called Valencia or Valenciano rice. And that's gonna give it a really nice, creamy consistency, perfect for this flavorful dish. So on this plate, we have some olives, capers, and pimentos right over here. Now, I just want to say something about these. Can, can we turn the music off again, please? If you're even thinking, if you're even considering not using olives or capers, if you do not use olives for this recipe, I'm just gonna flip the f out. Use the olives. Go get some olives. All right, so make sure you use those, okay? Now over here we have our little packet of powdered saffron. If you can find fresh saffron and you have it on hand, go for it. I find that powdered saffron actually gives it that much more flavor. So uh, more often than not, I like to use powdered saffron. Now over here we have red and green bell peppers. Okay, you have to have bell peppers for paella. And over here we have a little bit of garlic. All right, and we have some onion with some parsley on top and well, if you know if you don't like garlic and you don't like onion, seriously, seriously, if onions and garlic are not your thing, then good food isn't your thing. Okay, please, spare us all the indignity. Okay, come on, go. All right, so I'm glad we got that out of the way. Let's get this dish fired up. Now, usually I do this with a little bit of sherry, but today we're gonna make this recipe a little bit extra special by using Negra Modelo. All right, over here I have my skillet getting nice and warm, and I have a warm pot of chicken stock. All right, so I got my pan nice and hot. What I'm gonna do now is just put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, and we're going to start with the chorizo sausage. And we're gonna do the vegetables in there as well. All right, so I'm just gonna cook these until the onions are kind of close to being browned, okay? The closer you can get onions to being browned without burning them, 
the more flavor and the more sweetness comes out of them. It's called caramelizing. All right, and for this, I want to kind of caramelize the onions, and I want to get all that flavor out of the chorizo sausage before the seafood goes in. All right, so the onions are really nicely caramelized. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the shrimp. All right. So I just want those to get a little bit fried on the shells. I have everything here prepared, but I forgot the bottle opener. All right, so this is an emergency beer opening technique. If you don't have a bottle opener and it's not a twist off, well, I just grab a little butter knife. If you can see this here, and I just... There we go. Success. Successo. Porque cuando yo quiero tomar Negra Modelo, Nada me para. Nada. All right, this is smelling amazing. So I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of sea salt. I'm going to put in that little packet of saffron powder. Now this is the part where I would normally uh, deglaze it with a little bit of sherry, but trust me, this is going to make the recipe that much better. A little Negra Modelo in here. Look at that. There's some left over. Public service. No siempre tengo sed, pero cuando tengo sed, tomo sola. Y cuando tengo ganas de tomar cerveza, tomo Negra Modelo. Negra Modelo. La cerveza que es negra. Me gusta mucho. All right. In goes the swordfish. Scallops. and the rice. You'll notice I left the clams for the very end. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding a little bit of chicken stock over the next 30 minutes. And as the rice absorbs some of that chicken stock and as I move it around, it's gonna release that creaminess. At this point, I'm just gonna turn the heat down just so it's at a nice simmer. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that chicken stock. Normally I would do this with a ladle, but I have one of these nice pots that can pour, so it really comes in handy. Okay, so just a little bit, just enough to barely cover that rice. And I'll be able to see visually when that rice is soaking up all that liquid, and if I need to, I'll add a little bit more. But if you'll remember, I said 30 minutes, and that was maybe like five minutes ago. So the timer is counting down. I know in 25 minutes, I will have a perfect creamy paella. Don't walk away. At this point, you gotta commit to it. If you have commitment issues, I suggest that maybe you don't do a paella. Maybe you do something like a, I don't know, pizza pop, pop tart, something like that. But for the paella, you are going to have to commit, my friend, at least 25 minutes, half an hour or so. And just, you know, give it a stir every minute or so, every couple of minutes, and just uh, create a beautiful paella. Get yourself a Negro Modelo. Enjoy the evening. All right, well, we're waiting for the paella to do its thing. Check out these little clams. Soft shell clams are edible and can be used in a variety of dishes. Before cooking, it is generally recommended that clams be stored in salt water for a few hours to facilitate the expulsion of sand from their digestive tracts. Some recommend that cornmeal be added to the water to give clam. Oh my! That was delightful! <clears throat> well, um, that was the National Geographic portion of this segment.
Let's get back to the food. All right, so we're at the 20 minute mark. So I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit more of this chicken stock. And then I'm gonna add the clams and then we're gonna steam them. All right, so here's a little bit of chicken stock. Just a bit, because we only have 10 minutes to go until this rice is perfectly tender. All right, so give it a nice little stir. And now I'm gonna take my clams out of the water and I'm gonna place them into the paella. This is the butt. I'm gonna place them butt first, see? Look. All right, so this is their mouth. This is where they open. And then here's their little butt, okay? Butt first. Okay, stick a lid on it and wait out the next 10 minutes to a perfect creamy paella. All right, our 30 minutes are up. The clams have opened up. Everything is perfectly cooked. And look at this. Oh man. If you could only smell this. All right, so we're just gonna finish it off with a little bit of parsley. And look at that. A beautiful paella valenciana. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Hot Skillet. For more videos, recipes, and fun food-related things, please visit foodchaintv.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. Your subscriptions help me make more videos.